Hi, um, I'm a tenant here at the on the Jackson Street apartment. Okay. And um, I just need to let you know about the uh, the the room that we found underneath our apartment. The what? Uh, we found a well. Our our bedroom floor started kind of caving in. Okay. So we ripped up the carpet, and uh, we we caved it in the rest of the way ourselves. And there's a huge. Um, it's kind of like a cave, I guess you'd say, underneath the ground. I would call Kevin and talk to Kevin about it. Oh, well, I just called Dwayne's number because the office didn't answer. Who's this? This is Carrie. Oh, hi. But Kevin's, Kevin's, Kevin's the owner of, uh, of the building. I see. It's 402. Oh. oh, I have the number. It's right here. Yeah, yeah. I would call Kevin and talk to him about it. He might know more about it than I do. Okay. Well, nobody knows about it. It was like it's a, it, nothing's been down there, and, and it looks like centuries or okay. something. And there's a bunch of skeletons. Okay, I, and um, okay, I still would call Kevin. I, I've already called the the, the state and um, an archaeological dig team, and and they're classifying the building as a a dig site, and they they're saying everyone's going to have to move out. Which address are you in? I'm in the bottom apartment. Okay, number. And, um, number, I think two, isn't it? Okay, and the phone number, and I'll, I will call Kevin and tell him. I can call Kevin. I'm just saying everyone in the apartment is going to have to move out soon. They, we're going to have okay, to give them... Okay, well, I would call Kevin and uh, tell him that. Well, yeah, but I'm going to, right, as soon as I hang up okay. with you. Okay. But I don't know why you're giving me an attitude problem. Like, what's I'm your, not. What's your, I... Oh, listen to you. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you what's going on. Hello, my air company. So I called Kevin. He didn't even pick up. Like, you just sent yeah, me to a number. Yeah, I tried to call him myself, and he didn't answer. So you're in Jackson number two. Yeah. And, and okay, hang on. Hang on, look, Dwayne's this, here. The Smithsonian's going to be over today. Hang on. Hang on. Dwayne's here. Hang on. All right. Dwayne. She hung up. Hello. Hi. That lady keeps hanging up on me. I don't know what her problem is. No, she's not hanging up on you. She just don't understand. What number do you live in? She doesn't understand how to use a phone because she hung up on me. She's like, hold on. Let me get Dwayne. Click. What is your problem? I, I was trying to tell her about the, uh, the, you know, the room we found underneath our apartment. Yeah. And, uh, you know, our bedroom, it kind of caved in and we pulled up the carpet and everything. And there's this giant, you know, cavernous room underneath the apartment building. It, it goes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really huge site. Are and, you home now? Uh, no, I'm actually. Uh, I'm at the patent office. At where? The, at the patent office. Yeah, yeah. But you're in number two. Number two. Yeah, I believe that's it. Yeah. Okay. And, Your sister used to rent there before you. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Okay, fine. That's the right one. Okay, well, I'll stop but, up and take a look. Well, I don't well, understand what it would be, but we'll take a look. I, well, I, oh, I no, have no idea. No, you're not allowed to come in because um, I've assembled a, a team of archaeologists, and uh, they're not allowing anyone in the building. Basically, they're saying everyone else in the building is going to have to move out because we may have to raise the building. Might have to do what? M may have to tear the building down because um, it's built on an archaeological dig site. Oh, and from a long, long time ago, huh? Yeah, yeah, because this is like really old stuff. There's all these stacks of skulls. and um, they, Really? Yeah, they don't even look human, honestly. I don't know what these... Like, they have multiple sets of teeth, and they're kind of conehead. Okay. The, all the rooms down here, they're like triple-sized. You know, like, um, I think giants used to live down here. Really? What? That, that's just, you know, the stairs are all super huge. And and the ceilings, there's five levels down here. There's like stone stairways down to each level, but the underneath uh, underneath number two. Yeah, well, it's underneath the entire building, and and it goes on for blocks. Like it's really really huge down here. There's these oh, wow. tunnels. Oh might be a big find. Yeah, yeah these, it could be. These tunnels go on for miles. Yeah. Like we've gone down these we tunnels. We might have to call the television company. TV oh company. oh, we've already done it. That's why I'm at the patent okay. office actually, because um, there's. Uh, some ancient technology stuff down here, but it's wow. it's really Where's the patent office at. It's really advanced. Oh no, you're not going to come down here and beat me to to the patents because I've, uh, I've already. Oh no, come on! I've been doing this. Hey, don't get smart with me. Where's the patent office if you're there? Where are you at? I don't have to tell you anything. I'll, I'm saying okay, you, bye bye. You Thanks. can't come. Bye bye. In, you can't come in our. You're the one that's being rude. I, I'm sorry. 
but I can't I can't be I can't stay here and take mental abuse from somebody w- that won't tell me where I, you're I'm at. I'm not abusing you. And that lady I was talking to you, she was a, she was abusing me before. She, yeah, she well, I can understand jerk. why. But listen, when are you going to be back there and I'll visit with you, okay? No, you're not allowed to come on the property anymore. It's an archaeological okay, dig site. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, you're, bye-bye. You're, mm-hmm. And everyone... <laughs> this is Roy. Yes. Could you shut that kid the fuck up? Excuse me? Could you shut that kid the fuck up? We're trying to talk. Can you just shut him the fuck up before you call back? Ugh. But it's so irritating just listening to that kid. Oh, no, it's not toward you. It's toward your kid more. So irritating just listening to that kid. Oh, no, it's not toward you. It's toward your kid more. Oh, no, it's not toward you. It's toward your kid more. So irritating just listening to that kid. Oh no, it's not toward you, it's toward your kid. This is Roy from the uh, Apple computer in Cupertino, New Mexico. Did you shut your kid the fuck up? I can barely understand what you're saying. It's hard to hear you with your kid babbling in the background. Can I tell my kid to shut the fuck up? Yes, please. I don't like kids. Please tell the kid to shut the fuck up. Why are you being rude? I was having a hard time understanding your social security number and bank information. I was just hoping you could tell your kid to shut the fuck up. You telling me to tell my kid to shut the fuck up? No, you asked me, can I tell my kid to be quiet, but you can't tell me to tell my kid to shut the fuck up. Don't use that kind of language with me. I'm trying to give you a free product here. Hey, maybe you could take the duct tape off of that fake iPad you have and put it over your kid's mouth. You take that duct tape and stick it up your motherfucking ass. Because you got me about fucked up because I will fuck you up. I'm really you don't scared. Know what he's with. Can I talk to your manager? Like, who is this? No, he's he's in the bathroom right now. He's taking a huge shit. You white anyway, motherfucker. Who are you going to call me? Don't you dare call me white. Oh no, it's not toward you. It's toward your kid more. It's so irritating just listening to that kid. Oh no, it's not toward you. It's toward your kid more. Oh no, it's not toward you, it's toward your kid more. So irritating just listening to that kid. Oh no, it's not toward you, it's toward your kid more. Hello everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Arby, and that opening song that was by Jack Heliquin. I don't know if he intended that as a intro song or not, but that's what I'm using it as. What's he going to do about it? Thanks, Jack. This is episode 439, and it's sponsored by I Love Audis. That's Audi as in, you know, the car that's better than a BMW and a Mercedes put together. Not Audi as in a Audi belly button. I want to make sure there's no confusion there. But I Love Audis. He's one of the many supporters over at patreon.com slash phone losers. Please go there. Support the show. You'll get extra shows every week and access to a big archive of extra shows from over a year of past weeks. I think we're up to episode 78 now in the Hobo Sos, aren't we? Something like that. Holy shit, I thought I would just do like a couple of those and then get bored with it and never do them again. But nope, 78 Hobo Sos now. In the most recent one, I called that guy back from Goodwill, Jesse, and we had some more words together. And I talked to a few of the other people that didn't answer either. It was an okay show. Jesse wasn't as terrible as he was before. He didn't go off about how he's better than Goodwill employees this time. I've got a news story here that's sort of relevant to us, I think. It's been posted in the Facebook group a few times, and someone named John sent it to me in an email. A fake homeowners association files real liens on uh, neighborhood houses because they've been sending fake bills to these neighborhood houses, and people aren't paying them. So now they're, they're filing liens on people's homes. In Kansas City, Missouri, for years, people living in a quiet neighborhood in Northland ignored the invoices that arrived in their mail demanding payment to a homeowners association. I get that on a smaller scale. Like every day, I get these uh, things in the mail saying it's time to renew my domains send us ten dollars and it's from companies i've never heard of tony navarro said he was told when he moved in there that it's just a scam it's not the hoa neighborhood at all there are no monthly fees but then just before christmas a 445 and dollar lien was filed against navarro's home and more than 30 others the reason for not paying dues to the summerfield homeowners association an hoa that has no board and provides no services what the hell what do they exist for then If you call the phone number for the company that runs the HOA, Columns Park LLC, it's some random guy that answers. Neighbor Jesse Coucher said, he told me that he had the number for five years. He asked me to let the community know that it's not him, and that's how you know it's a scam. 
Even though the HOA may be fake, the liens are real. Neighbors have had to hire attorney Ed Ford to get them removed. The filing of fake liens and other documents has become a big problem in Missouri. And blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read this entire thing. It's a pretty long article. It looks like they tracked down some of the people behind the fake HOA and found out that uh, one of them was in federal prison on mortgage fraud. And I'll put a link to that in the show notes if you want to read up on it. It's pretty interesting. It's just another reason you shouldn't move into a neighborhood that has an HOA. Like the main reason is because I'll end up prank calling you eventually. But also, you might get a lien put on your home. You don't want that. In other news, Jag TV has a webpage now. It's pretty fancy. It's jagtv.org. He's been doing a lot of calls of mass confusion pranks with us lately. He's done some pretty amazing stuff. But I saw someone on my YouTube account spamming his YouTube page, saying that he's like 60 subscribers away from having 1,000 subscribers. And as you know, well, you probably don't, but... I think he needs a thousand to get a personalized YouTube name like youtube.com slash jagtv. So I am putting a link in the show notes to jagtv.org in case you can't remember that. And on jagtv.org, you should click on his YouTube account and subscribe to his YouTube because he needs a few more subscribers. You should also listen to his show, which is called The Purge, which uh, he claims that he does every Monday, but he doesn't really do it every Monday. He just does it whenever he feels like it. At least he tries to have a schedule, though, unlike me. Let's see, what else before we play a Henrik song and get started with the show? Uh, Oh yeah, I forgot to thank the new people that have signed up on Patreon, like Chris, Rachel, Elliot, Nils16, Brandon M, Kirsty, Pepe, Scott B, and Trey. So thank you, all you new subscribers. There's also a Jacob that signed up on the Elite Cactus Squad over at phonelosers.org slash cactus. Thanks for that, Jacob. All right, that's enough of all this opening stuff. Let's play some music by Henrik. Looks like he did a song about King Richard. I haven't heard this one yet. It better not suck, Henrik. King Richard. King Richard. King Richard. King Richard. King Richard. King Richard. Dude, you, you, what the? Okay, who's your manager, man? I've got an old Tenants from Hell number here from February 2017. Oops, sorry. Uh, This one is from Billy Boy. And he says, hey, Cactus Roy, greetings from New York, big fan of your show. I have a tip for a Tenant from Hell segment. And I totally fucked this one up. I should have called last year. I'm sure the stuff that he's talking about isn't happening anymore. But he says, I live downstairs and apartment is currently under repairs. The administration hired workers that put music very loud while they take down walls and curse and scream in English and Spanish. Oh my God, Spanish, the humanity. You poor guy. I'm kind of annoyed by the noise. And apparently the uh, the accents too, right, Billy Boy? For you to be pointing it out like that. Don't like people that speak Spanish, huh? Sorry, no, just kidding. Um, Handle the prank any way you want. My suggestion is that you are giving the administration the heads up for a raid from Immigrant Enforcement, or DEA, to capture those illegals working on the apartment who are also cannibals, drug dealers, and rapists. Holy shit. (laughs) Um, If that is too much, I will leave it up to you to make up something more moderate. And yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't get to this a year ago. I kind of forgot that it existed. I have a special directory just for Tenants from Hell stuff, and I haven't really gotten a lot of Tenants from Hell stuff this past year, so I just kind of forgot that there was anything in there, and yours has been the only one in there for a while. I blame everyone else, especially Apocalypse, for not sending me more Tenants from Hell numbers. So I've got the number of the super here. Let's give him a call. Hello? Hello, Ivor? Safraz. What? Safraz. Oh, whatever. Is that a code word? No, that's my name. Oh, <laughs> this is not the <laughs> Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I'm a tenant here on Van Cleek Street. Yes. Uh huh. And I just have a question. Yes. Like, sure. so we pulled up the floorboards, and there was a dog underneath the floor. So should we leave the dog there, or do you think, like, can can we get rid of the dog? Because it's kind of weird that there's a dead dog under underneath our floor. Underneath your floor? Yeah, we pulled up the carpet, and then we pulled up the floor. 
we we sawed into the floor and pulled up the floorboards and there's a, there was like two dead dogs down there yeah which apartment the seven so like should we should can we just throw the dog out can we throw it in the trash or is that disrespectful no you can throw it out in the trash okay great in garbage bag what Oh, in, in gar- garbage bag, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put it in garbage bags. It's mostly just bones. It's been down here for a long time. We also okay. found we found Which some. You said that is? Yeah, seven. 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 Yep, seven. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut un- up more of the floor, and so if we find more dead animals underneath the floor, we just throw them out. Uh, man, can I can I come take a look at it? No. No, it's a mess in here. You you probably get mad. No. No, thank you. But yeah, we're going to keep cutting into all the, into all the floors. And do you want me to let you know if we find more dead dogs? Yeah, sure. We're we're going to cut the joists out too. So we have more square footage. Okay, I really, I really should have um, should have get to take a look at this, you know. Nah, it's cool. It's fine. We got, we got it. We got this. We'll we'll put okay, it. Okay, all right. We'll put it in trash bags and throw it in the trash. Okay, sir. Okay. Bye, Ivor. Well, that's not the response I was expecting, but he's got another number in here, uh, the realty company. Maybe they would care a little bit more. Man, Ivor was too nice. Realty. Hey, uh, I'm a tenant over here on Van Cleek Street. What's your apartment and, number? Uh, 7H. Okay, how can I, what's your name? Roy. And I just have a question. Um, we pulled up the carpet. You're in 7H? Yeah. I don't have any Roy on the lease. Oh, yeah. I just sleep on the couch. It's cool. But, yeah, I w- we, we cut into the floors. We took a saw okay, and, like, I'm sorry. pulled up. Can the f- I speak to someone who's on the lease? Uh, no, they work. But, anyway, we found, like, actually we found a dead dog underneath the floor when we cut up all the floorboards. We cut up the floor, the top part, and then we cut up the subfloor, and underneath there, in between the joists, were were uh, like two dead dogs. What? Yeah, I'm serious. Okay. Yep, I mean mostly bones, but I, I think they've been down there for decades or something. But yep. We and you're in apartment seven H. Yes. Are you there right now? Yeah, yeah. I was just, I was just wondering, should we throw away these dogs, or should we leave them down there just to out of respect? Rugs. Rugs? No, dogs. No, what? Are- animals. They're, they're like dead animal. They're like bones mostly. Of. Dead- All right, hold on one second. I'm gonna have to transfer it to your bell and representative. They're okay? mummified. Well, well, can I just talk to you? He, no, he I'll doesn't. Transfer it. Who's the building representative? I don't think he likes me. Is his name Ivor? No. <laughs> What's his name? name is not Ivor. What's his name? Your building representative is a woman. She's from the office. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, I like women. I don't get along with men that well. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. All right. She could at least have yelled at me a little bit though before she transferred Thank me. You, you know, You'll probably gonna get a voicemail. We're located and on the World Wide Web at www. The World Wide Web. Hello. Yes. How can I help you? Oh, hey. Uh, I'm calling. I'm I'm one of the uh, tenants here on Van Cleek Street. What apartment, and, sir? Seven uh, H. Hold on. Jeez, grouchy. Rare. Psh, psh. What is the name? Oh, uh, well, my name's Roy. I just have a question. Um, we pulled up the carpet. I have to bring your account. Uh, I'm not. I don't know if I have seven H is in Harry. Yep. What is the names on, on, on this account? I don't know. I just call him Eddie. Are but you a tenant in this apartment? No, I just sleep on the couch. <laughs> but um, I just um, I was pulling up the, the carpet, and I cut into the floorboards, and we found a dead dog underneath the floor. 
and I was wondering, <laughs> should we keep it there or should we throw it away? Hi, <laughs> are you joking or something? Oh no, I wouldn't joke. I'm a Christian. You pull a carpet, you pull a car. Well, it's Christian jokes, no? You know, I'm what? a Christian. Do I make funny jokes? Yeah. Well, no, no. I, I wouldn't You're joke. You're in apartment. Let's get this uh, uh, account correct. This is Van Cleet, apartment 7H is in Harry. Yeah, but I don't really want to be on the lease. I, I like to live off the grid. And I, I have to, um, I, I need to know who the, who is the tenant in this apartment, who is the registered tenant. You don't have it there on the computer? Your, your name, your name, what is your name, sir? My name is Roy. You say, yeah, I don't have a Roy, no. Y yeah, I don't, I don't like to be on computers. I, I'm not a computer person. Can you call the super, please? I'm if you're a tenant there, you should have the super. Uh, I can give you the number and let him address the issue. Oh, okay, I guess. Is it that Ivor okay. guy? The because I don't think he yeah, likes me. His name is Mr. Dean, so I can um, okay, yeah. give you his number. I'd love to talk to a fourth person. It's 718-7458. Yeah, I already called that one. He told me. Okay, that's the super. Just, he, just he, call him. He told please. me to call you. He's like, I don't feel <laughs> really? like. Really? Yeah, he's like, I don't feel like <laughs> dealing with this today. Uh, I, I'm going to give him a call also, but you can call him. He has to address things and uh, well, what, issues in, in the field. What do you think, though? Like, should I keep the dog on I, I the floor? Listen, I don't know. This song's very weird. So let me have my super address this and let him call me back. Yeah, but what would you do? Okay. Like, if, if you pulled up your floorboards? I, I don't, I'm not here to give. I'm not here to give because this is, like, the weirdest thing that you're telling me. Yeah, but just... So let me have my super and I can give you a call back, but, Roy, but, um, but, if you but, don't mind. But, can I but, have your phone number? But from one Christian to another... Other. Like, if you found a dog underneath your floor, what would you do? Would you keep it down there out of respect, or would you throw it away? I don't know what you're talking about. Or maybe I could take the bones and go bury them out in the yard. Is well, that okay? Whatever you want to do. I mean, I guess you live there, right? Yep. If it's uncomfortable for you. So let me call my super and I'll it's just, call you back. It's just so weird. Right, if I can have your number. It's just weird. Because, okay. like, All right, what, what if we have ghost dogs? Okay, whatever. I give up. I kind of want to call other landlords, though, and try that same premise, maybe in newer, more modern buildings. Not to assume that everything in New York City is a falling apart shithole. So I'm going to look some up here. Where should I look them up? I guess on... I guess I'll do Google Maps. Usually I do Craigslist, but fuck Craigslist. I'm just going to look up apartment buildings on Google Maps. I am in the mood to find things in the floors today. Oh, I should get some uh, power tools here. Get some sound effects ready. I've, I've got to find some power saws. Ah, shit. Not that one. Not my wrench dropping. We got hammers. We got glass breaking. Oh, come on. Where's this? Oh, here we go. Circular saw. Perfect. We got several of them here. Oh, they're all the same. They all sound the same. We got cordless electric drills. <laughs> oh, we got we got jigsaws. All right, yeah, okay. So yeah, I think we're all set. Let's call up an apartment or two. Only problem is that I don't know how the apartments are numbered. When I looked them up on Google Maps, I'm just gonna have to kind of guess, I guess. Thank you for choosing. This is Shaya. How can I help you? Hey, Shaya. Uh, I'm a tenant here at. Uh huh. And um, I have a question. Uh, I was pulling up the carpet here in the living room, and I cut into some okay. floorboards and got underneath the floor, and um, I actually found some dead animals underneath the floor. Weirdly enough. I'm sorry, dead animals. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I, it looks like dogs. I'm pretty sure it's dogs. It's just the bones. Underneath the floorboards? Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, uh, oh, I, I pulled up. I pulled up. I, I took my saw and I sawed into um, three different rows of, of, you know, like underneath the floors, you know, in between the joists, oh. kind of. And, yep, I, yeah. found, I found dead dogs in two different parts. So, okay. So I What's was. Your address? I was just wondering, um, should I? Sh can I just throw those in the trash? I don't want to be disrespectful. 
to like a previous tenant's dog? I, I wow, I just I, I'm still just in shock right now. Um, Me too. Uh, I mean, that was weird. I thought it was human bones at first. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. I found a murder scene here, but nope, it's just dogs. I mean, I wish I I could talk to the manager to see who maybe lived there before, but it seems like that was that would still just be odd for be under like you know what I mean? Yeah, like it should yeah. be long. It would be a longer time ago for it to be under the floorboards. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, and 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 the floor like, the floors, you know, like I I I cut into these floorboards with my circular mm -hmm. saw. And they'd never been cut into before. So it's almost like the people that originally built the apartment put in a bunch of bones underneath. But why would they do that? And you're on, are you on the second floor? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh my God. Yeah, that definitely is weird. Um, Most of them are bones, well, but can, like this one is mummy, yeah. mum, mummified. Uh -huh. Like it's it's been tightly wrapped up, and I think it's oh. uh, yeah, it's like a, still a, a a whole dog in there. Like it's oh it's a God. it's a dog mummy. Oh my God! Okay. Have um, you have you ever had any uh, ritual? I don't know, weird paganism type stuff going on in here before that you know of? I can tell you that I have no idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Yep. I mean, not to say anything could have went on, you know. Um, well, I'm I'm gonna keep cutting into the all the floorboards in the whole apartment. I'm gonna chop them all up and and you know pry all this wood up off of the floor. Were you just, were you trying to just replace the floor yourself? Uh, no, no. I just uh, I, I I wanted more square footage, so I I just thought, figured I'd take out the floors and you know there's all that space underneath. There's like a good a good ten inches under there, like the joists are like ten inches deep i didn't expect there to be uh dog bones though that's crazy what um what address are you at um 8659 what apartment is that c or d d oh b c yeah uh -huh. b is a boy yeah. or b is a dog oh. i'm sorry bbq Okay, I can go ahead and have maintenance come over. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of a mess in here. I mean, I've got boards laying up everywhere, propped up against the walls. I've got all my power tools sitting out. Sawdust I mean, everywhere. Um, I guess just for the fact of looking at, you know, because I'm sure the manager's going to want to have someone come and look at that and see about the bones and all that yeah you know what i mean well you know i could just bring him to the office i could just bring all the dog bones to the office well i i probably would prefer to make this game and got him out <laughs> and versus bringing them here especially if people are here oh so. i don't i don't mind doing it myself i could just throw him out in the yard i i could just can i just bury him in the front yard no they wouldn't like, want that well I, probably I, need to dispose of them somehow you know throw them away however they would do it but they definitely wouldn't want anything dug up in our yard in our grass yeah well they also probably wouldn't want me to cut up the floorboards but psh, whatever <laughs> i'm doing it anyway you know i wonder if like yeah, a, uh -huh. a university or museum or something might want the mummified dog i yeah I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I can just have her have the maintenance come out and get all that out of there. Yeah, I don't mind doing it. I'm more of a do-it-yourselfer type person, you know. I can d yeah. do it. But yeah, it's just the only thing is being that it's you know the property, our still our property and everything like that. And yeah, yeah. I'll let her know. I'll, I'll let her know. I'm, I'm the um, renter. Hey, hey, is she there? Like, can we just talk to her? Of them? Yeah, hold on a second. What's oh, your name? Uh, this is Roy. Roy, hold on. Thank you for holding. We're glad you called. Please continue to hold. We'll be with you right away. Hello, Roy. Hello. Hello. Yes, hi. Um, it's Shay again. Did you say you're at 8659 or 8669? Um, I, no, 718. 
No, I meant the address. Where where are you located? Where where's your apartment? Oh, it's the building number seven one eight. Seven one eight. Oh, you said eighty six fifty nine. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. I was looking at something else here. Apartment. Which one? Apartment B. Uh huh. Yep. Seven eighteen. Apartment B. Okay. So she say to go ahead and just bury those in the yard. No, she was trying to. We're trying to look up the right address. But, oh. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't need anyone to come over. I'm not wearing pants anyway. Okay. All right. Well, all righty. <laughs> you, know. you know. I mean, yeah. I... Huh? No, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, if you said this, you're not dressed, then, yeah, don't we won't come over. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I don't plan to be dressed at any point today. Okie dokie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I could just throw these in the dumpster, I guess. These these bones and I guess so. Mummies. Yeah, that's fine. So the manager doesn't want to talk to me? Well, she's trying to figure out who, you know, what's going on, and we're trying to figure out the address. But if you're saying no one can come over... Yeah, but I just thought she might want to... Then we can do. I thought she might want to talk about the bones and stuff. Well, she's wanting to figure out if we can send our guys. That's her whole gist of it. But you're saying no one can come over, so we well, can't send our guys over there then. Well, it's just that I don't have pants on. It's not my fault, really. It's just I don't. Sir, have I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, I don't. I'm just letting you know. So if yeah. you want them to come over, we can send our maintenance team over and get rid of it. If you want to get rid of it, then you know you can go ahead. Well, is she available to talk to on the phone? I'll give her the message. No, she's not. Okay. So I'll just let her know. Well, could you ask her, like, would it be better, um, like, we have shrubbery here by the door. I could bury the bones underneath the shrubbery, or I could just do it in the grass. She doesn't want anything buried in our yard. I oh. can guarantee you that for a fact you can dig in our yard. So not in the grass, just in the shrubs? No. No, nowhere in the building, around the building. You can put it in a dumpster. Okay. I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to be disrespectful to dogs, though. Well, like I said, yeah, just throw them in the dumpster. What about someone else's yard? Like, it won't be my yard? It'll just be, like, the yard a couple houses down? Sir, I'm sorry. Um, you keep asking me that question. You can't dig in our in the property's yard. Yeah, but I'm look You can't do that. I'm looking for a loophole. There, You don't need a loophole. You can just throw it in the dumpster. Just take it to one of the dumpsters and get rid of them, and that's all you have to do. Okay. If you don't want our maintenance team to come over and come into the apartment and get it out. Yeah, screw that. But it's not like a biohazard thing, okay. like like throwing away and biological stuff. That's why stuff. I was saying our maintenance team can come over and get them out. Yeah. If you don't what want is... them to come over. We can't force our way in there. Well, it's not that I don't want them to. It's just that I'm not wearing pants. Right. If you don't want to put on pants. It's just that it's laundry day. Okay. Well. Whatever you want to do, sir. I, I have to go. Okay, so whatever I want to do so I can put them in the yard? No, you can't. I already told you that. But so not dig in our yard because you'll get fined or, you know, the, the company will come after you for that. But you said whatever I want to do. Or is this a joke, sir? I'm sorry. If you're joking with me, I would like for you to stop because this is a professional business. No, but I'm if you're just... serious. No, I'm, I'm not joking. I wouldn't joke. Okay, so again, like I said, you cannot dig in the yard. Okay. This is not... <sighs> Your home. Okay, so I can't dig. Property is owned by Web. I can't dig in the yard. Digging, you can throw it out there. You can throw it in the dumpster. Our maintenance team can come over and take care of it and get it out your way. I'm just saying there's other ways to get underground, but besides digging, like I could use a, a, a laser-based device and just uh, again, cut through the dirt. Again, do not put them in the grass or in the shrubbery or anywhere outside the apartment. If you want to get rid of them on your own, you can throw them in the dumpster. If you want our maintenance team to come over, they can go ahead and take care of it for you. Those are your only choices. Uh, what about the recycle bin? I'm sure that's not where they should be. Okay. Well, I just don't know. I don't like it. Aren't bones recyclable? Yeah. Hello? Okay. I'm going to get back to cutting up the floor here. Hung up at some point.
She'd had enough of my shit. Park Apartments. Hi, uh, this is Roy. I'm a tenant there. I just have a, a question about something. Uh-huh. Uh, I was cutting into the, you know, like I pulled up the carpet in the living room and I cut into the floorboards. And after I cut through the two layers of floor, um, we actually found some dog bones buried um, underneath, you know, like, you know, dog skeletons. And I was wait, wait, wait. You were cutting into the into the floor for for what? Uh, just uh, I don't know storage. We thought we might put some uh, storage compartments down there or something. Maybe a, a, wait, which a floor you, which, safe. Which apartment are you in? Um, th- th- uh, where, uh, uh, what is it? One one eighty eight, I think. Oh, um. Yeah, I was what's just. What's the name wa- again? I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Roy. I was just wondering though, should we? Should we throw these dog bones in the trash, or... Um, should... we would honestly probably need to go there, um... Go where? Which... We, we, we would need to go to, to, the, to the apartment to see what's going on there. Which apartment oh, no. are you in again? No, no it's cool. You, you don't need to come in or anything. I was just wondering if we should, uh... It, yes, but you, should... but we also, you also cut into the floor, and so we would need to, to do repair, because we don't... Oh, no, we, no. We I'm, don't allow that. I'm doing all this myself. I, I'm a do it yourself or it's cool. Okay, well, I would. I would, okay then. Um, can I just get the apartment so I can put a note in the system? Sure. Well, it, uh, like, uh, what are we not allowed to cut into our own floors? I mean, we pay rent. No. Yeah. We we generally don't allow that. Oh well, too late now. I've cut in about <laughs> one third of the living room so far, and I'm I'm gonna continue to do the rest. I was thinking about. Okay. Um. You know, like there's joists, those those uh, vertical pieces that support the floor maybe honestly i've never seen the floors like without the carpets and the pad <laughs> ah, i see yeah yeah i was thinking about cutting those down about six inches and then putting the floor down so, so it's like a sunken living room a little bit and that way we'll have more square footage like the room will be taller okay but then um but then in some... and what what yeah sorry i was just gonna ask for your for your name uh my name is roy Okay, um, but I'm not like, pulling anything up here. Which which apartment are you in? One eighty-eight. We we don't we don't have an eighty-eight here. Uh, ten, ten though. It doesn't matter though. You, you guys you guys don't have to come over. I was just wondering mostly about it's, the. Oh, it's okay. The, I just I just wanted to put a note in the system for you so we know what's going on. Oh no, it's okay. I, I don't need any notes in there. I've probably got we, enough notes we, as it we, is. That. And I understand that, but we have to have notes in the system so we know, you know, what's what's going on there as well. Because I also want the property manager know that there was, you know, bones under there. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, um, I don't know. Has there been any ritualistic, um, like, I, I don't know, any any weird religious stuff happening here where they would sacrifice dogs or? Yeah, I like, don't. Not that I'm aware of. I've never heard of anything like that. Um, are the are you in thing. one of our one beds or two beds, three beds? Uh, two. Two beds. Two beds. What, what are the What's apartment the number thing? formats in? Uh, like they're not one eighty or ten eighty. We we don't have any apartments that start with ten, or we don't even have any apartments that go with eighty. Our apartments start with fifteen hundred. Oh, fifteen eighty. We don't we don't have an apartment that's fifteen eighty. Fifteen oh eight. That's what it is. Oh, fifteen. Okay, let me. But it doesn't matter. I don't need a visit today. Like, you know, I'm not even, I'm not dressed for it. And the apartment's a mess. I've got all, all this, uh, all these boards pulled up. Are you in, and, are you in A? Uh-huh, yep. Randy Yeah, that's me, Randy Okay. But, so, um... I, I also found some papers underneath here with the dogs, like stock certificates. I would get to keep those, right? Um, honestly, again, I don't know. This is something I'm going to have to run past the property manager. Okay. I mean, I would probably get to keep the dog bones, right? I could do whatever I want with those. I mean, <laughs> probably, Sarah, she'd probably want us to go over there just to dispose of them. Oh, no, I'll do it. It's cool. I, I got it. I got this. I, I just, uh, you know, like, if, if I can keep the dog bones, it seems like I should be able to keep the stock certificates, too, and all of the medical records. 
I mean, if there's medical records and things like that, you you would probably not be able to keep those because they're not yours, unfortunately. Well, well I'm not going to look at them. I'm not going to violate the HIPAA Act. And that's understandable, um, but I'm again, I'm going to have to run everything past the property manager. Okay. Is she, is she around or he around? Yeah, yeah. Sarah's here, so I'm, I'll go run back and talk to her real quick. Um, do you mind if I put, put you on hold? Oh, sure, yeah. I'll talk to her if you want me to. Okay, yeah. Hold on just a moment. Whatever. Sure. I think while I wait, I'm going to do some sawing. Come into some more floorboards here. Randy. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me turn hey. my let me turn my saw off. Okay. Hey, hey, um, it's me, Randy. Yes, Randy. Um, you're a tenant here at yes. the, on the property. Uh huh. Yep. And which apartment are you in? Uh, fifteen oh eight. Okay. Can you verify the last four of your social or your date of birth for me? Oh, that's weird. What do you want that for? We just want to confirm that we are speaking to our tenant, only because my understanding is that you were having a hard time verifying your address initially. So I just want to make sure that I am speaking to Randy. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I, mainly, I just wanted to find out if I should uh, bury the dog bones or maybe I should just throw them in the dumpster. Because I'm good with either. I just didn't know what you guys would want. But, okay, so you're, you're cutting. You're using a saw to cut into the floor? Yeah, a circular saw. Like one one of these. Yeah, that's that's a no that's a no go. I and I, um, I don't understand why you're doing that. Well, it's too late. Um, no, I'm I just uh, I'm I'm making the the room taller by making the floor lower, so we'll have more head. You can't do that. You cannot do that. That is making permanent changes to our property. You don't own the property. You rent the property. I know, but it looks better. You, it, it doesn't matter. You cannot do that. It's going to be like, uh, you know, you walk in the living room and you, you have to take a step down about six inches and then the room looks bigger because it's taller. I'm sorry, it's, Randy, but you cannot do that. I mean, this is, this is um, eviction type material. No, come on. Don't be like that. It's cool. I, I'm I'm sorry, but yeah, we're we're going to be sending maintenance and a property manager over to your apartment. Uh, no, not to today. See exactly. N not today. What's that? Today's not good with me. Nope. It, it, it's a mess. They will be arriving. No, I'd later the, they will be coming over. No, I'd rather. And we have the right. We own the property. I'd we will be coming over to inspect. I'd rather you wait until I'm finished because it's going to look really amazing when I'm finished. I'm going to have the floor sunk in a little bit, and Randy, there's you don't be have carpet. permission to do that. You don't have you don't the have wall. parks permission. You can't just make changes to the property without contacting us and asking for approval. First. Well, what about the other changes I've made? Like I did the kitchen floor. I, I covered it with pennies. You know, like old copper pennies. I, I, I had them all no I had no idea that you did that. Yeah, but it looks it looks better and it's gonna last forever. It's gonna it's so much better than just linoleum. So so basically um, I'm I'm making the, the whole place more valuable. And it, it took like 10,000 pennies. That, that's like, I don't know, 500 bucks or something. Randy, but the problem is, is you don't own this unit. If something happens and you move out or something happens to you, that's not necessarily what the next tenant wants. And then we have to go in there and redo all of this work. Yeah, but I, I didn't want the linoleum. So that's why I took the linoleum up and I put pennies down. That's not your choice. And that I, is not your choice as a renter. It looks really professional. It is in like your I, lease, I, I did diamond in, patterns. In Randy, in your lease, it states that you are not allowed to make permanent changes like that without the owner's approval. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of it though. It looks great. Like I did a big diamond no, pattern we'll, in the we'll middle. No, we'll come over. We will be coming over to look at it. No, don't come over today though. Like wait, wait until um, probably March first. I'll be finished with it by March first. I'm sorry, but that's not how it's going to happen. Why? We have the right to enter. We All we have to do is give you notice that we're coming over and we have the right to enter. How you much, cannot make changes like that how to much, the property. How much notice? Like two weeks? Nope, about a couple of hours. No, come on. Don't be like that. I'm, I don't our, even have pants on legal, today. Our legal right is to come in after we've provided notice to you for at least 
two or three hours. Well, I, so somebody will be coming over. I'm going to have to get to work If then. you don't open like, the door willingly, they will enter without your approval. Yeah, but I don't even have pants on, so it's kind of like sexual harassment or something. Well, then I'd say throw some pants on. Well, it's laundry day, and I, like, there's really nothing to wear right now. We, we will be over either by the end of the day or tomorrow morning. Okay, I, I'm, I'm providing you notice, and we will put notice up on your apartment door that we will be by to inspect your apartment. Well, I, I've, I've got a lot of work to do. If it's going to be tomorrow morning, because uh, you know, I've, I've still got to finish cutting out the rest of these, hold on, these, these uh, things here, the joists. Like I'm going to cut the joist down about six inches and then put the floor down. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to carpet by morning, though. I'm going to have to stay up all night. Randy, I still won't get can, the carpet. Can you down. please verify? Can you please verify your date of birth for me? No, that's weird. What like I'm I'm taken. I'm 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 spoken for. I'm not interested. Sorry. It's n- nothing personal. If this is a prank call, I'm going to tell you not to call this number again. I wouldn't prank call. I'm I'm a grown man. I'm a grown ass man. I don't make prank calls. Mhm. This, this is just a very, this is a very strange call. I'm going to hang up now. We will put notice on Randy's door on that we're going to come in and inspect. If you are Randy, then you got the message. If you're not, don't call here again. I, I am was hanging up. just Goodbye. being nice by, <laughs> Randy's going to be confused when he sees that notice on his door. He's going to be like, oh shit, honey, hide the meth lab. It's an apartment. Hello. Uh, I have a question. I'm a tenant here. Okay. And um, I was cutting into the floor. Wow, it's really loud there. Okay, what? Oh, I was cutting into the floorboards uh, in my living room. I, I cut into the floor and pulled up all the, the floor, you know? And I. Why? Uh, you know, just doing some renovations. But I actually found some animal bones underneath the floor, like quite a few. Okay, you do know that you're not allowed to do anything like that in the apartment, right? Well, it's too late now. <laughs> yep. No, I already did it. But I, I was just wondering, like, uh, so I found, like, dog bones, and it looks like cat bones, I'm pretty sure. I don't know my skeletons that well. But I was wondering, like, what I should do with the bones. Should I just throw them in the dumpster? Yeah, where do you live at? Uh, 1308. 1308? Yep. What apartment letter? Oh, it's 130, is it 130B? There is no one. I don't know. You're at 1308B? Yeah, that's the one. So you're at 1308B and you decided to renovate the apartment that you're not allowed to do. Well, I'm not renovating really. I'm just cutting I'm cutting out all of the living room floor. And Okay, that's that's renovating that you're not allowed to do. Well, not really. It's just the floor. It's not like I'm knocking out walls. Well, I know, but you're not allowed to tear up the carpet or tear up the floor. Well, I'm putting in new carpet that's better. Okay, that's that's not allowed. All right. What about the kitchen? No, no, floor? None of that is allowed. Because I did the kitchen already. I did the kitchen like months ago. You re linoleum the kitchen? No, I took the linoleum up. And you know how people will put pennies down? Like just hundreds and hundreds, thousands of pennies? And they'll make a floor out of pennies? I did that in the kitchen. And it looks really amazing. Like I did pat- you- patterns and. Penny the kitchen floor. Yeah, you've heard of that, right? You've seen it, like it, how how cool it looks. Okay, but you rent this apartment, right? By renting, you're not allowed to redo things. Yeah, but pennies are stronger than l- linoleum, so it's going to last forever. I know, but it's it's not allowed. Yeah, but I'm saving you guys money. You're never going to have to put new linoleum in there. Is what I'm saying. Okay. I will let the owner know what you're doing. Okay, well, I, I just, the, my question, though, is about the animal bones. Like You're going to throw them away. We don't want them. Well, can I just bury them in the yard? I, I thought it might be disrespectful to, to throw them. No, you know, please just, don't dig up our yard. What, what, not even the backyard? No. 
Cause you won't even be able to tell. You know, I'll, I'll do it carefully. I'll, I'll cut up a piece of grass. No, just... we d we don't want the yard dug up. Okay. All right. All right. I won't do that. Um, Bye. But also, I have questions, ma'am. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. About, like, do you know why there would be animal bones underneath my floor? Uh, no, I have no idea why. It's kind of a good thing that I pulled up the floors, right, to find all these animal bones, because it's weird. There, there's like at least seven animal skeletons in here. Well, no, it's not well, a good thing. It's not a good thing that they're, that they're here. I mean, it's a good thing that I'm getting rid of them, so you're welcome. No, there's no thank you needed. It's not like they were smelling or anything. They must have been, they could have been dead long before he ever bought the building. Well, I'm sure they were because they're just bones. Like the rest of it's all gone. It's just bones. Right. So and, and it collars. didn't affect us any. There was the like old collars too. Like, you know, had their bones and their collars, like collars with bells on them and stuff. Yeah. We don't even allow dogs. <sighs> yeah. So somebody had a dog in here before and it wasn't me. Because these, these are long, long decayed. Okay. So you're welcome. Like I said, no thanks needed. Well, you know, you could say thank you because I'm getting rid of, like, just disgusting. Sir, I'm not going to say thank you when you tore up our floors and I have to call the owner to let him know that you're tearing up his apartment. I'm not tearing up the apartment. I, I fixed the kitchen floor because the linoleum was all scratched up anyway. You can't fix what he didn't want. That's not fixing what he didn't want. But it looks better. But you didn't ask him. I know, but... Like, you got I, no I, permission. I'm not going to bother him over every little thing. I'm a good tenant. I, I don't just, like, call him all willy-nilly. I know, but it's, it's not allowed to remodel your apartment. Okay, well, after I'm done with the living room, I won't do any more. Okay. I'm just going to cut... I'm going to cut the joist down lower... I'm, I'm going to finish that up tonight. I'm going to cut them all about six inches lower. And cut that, what joist? You know, the, the joists in the floor. The, the, you can't cut the floor. I, I already have, though. I cut the top of it, but I want to cut the joists, and that way I'll have a taller living room. No, don't, don't do anything. Let me send the owner over there. But, like, we, I'm going to send Alan over there. Okay, but here's the thing. We have a, a tall Christmas tree. And it always touches the ceiling. We it doesn't matter. You can't cut the floor up and change the floor. But our Christmas tree. It doesn't matter, sir. It's too tall, and the star touches the top, and it's got lights on it, and that's a fire hazard. It's touching the ceiling. Sir, then you get a smaller tree. This tree. You don't been... cut up a floor and change a floor to match a Christmas tree. You get but a Christmas tree that will fit. I'm cutting the entire floor, though. So, like, you're going to walk... Do not cut anything. Do not cut anything. You, you I am even, calling Alan now. You won't even be able Do to... Do not cut anything. You won't be able to tell because the entire floor Sir, is Sir, I'm done. calling Alan now. Um, Goodbye. I'll call Alan. What's his number? Goodbye. What's his number? What's Alan's number? Oh, man. She was taking that so personally. I thought it made perfect sense. I mean, don't you hate that when your Christmas tree is too tall? And whatever topping you get, it like touches the ceiling, it bends the top of the tree over. Why wouldn't you cut into the floor and lower the floor down a little bit? I'm just going to do one layer of plywood. So that way I get an extra three quarters of an inch or whatever of Christmas tree star space. I can get one of those big stars. Square Apartments, this is Carol. How may I help you? Hey, Carol. Uh, I'm, I'm a tenant here and yes. I have a question. Yes. Uh, I was just wondering, like, um, I've been cutting up the floors in my bedroom. Like, uh, I, I took a saw and I, I cut up all the floorboards. You know? Excuse me? I, I cut up, I, I cut the floors out of the bedroom. And I just needed to find out, um, like, I found some stuff underneath the floorboards. And I was wondering if that, bl like, do I own anything that I find underneath the floors? Because it's not a part of the apartment. It's just some stuff. What did you, why did you cut the floor up in your apartment? Um, well, I just, it, just in the bedroom, only in the bedroom, the main bedroom. Uh, I just, I cut it open because I wanted to see what was underneath. Because I, I had a metal detector and I could tell that there was some stuff underneath because I was metal detecting inside the, the apartment. 
Who am I speaking to? My name's Roy. Roy, and what apartment are you in? 517. What, 517 what? Uh, D. D. Oh, I have never heard of anybody doing what you did. I know. And you are responsible. I know. I, I'm, I'm taking care of it. I'm going to put it back and everything. I just wanted to see. No, what... no. But I, you need to talk to Sue Ann. Uh, she is here, and anything that you found is not yours. And to cut up a floor in a building mm -hmm. is not really a smart thing to do. Yeah, but I found, uh, like, I feel like I should get to keep what's under, uh, as long as I live here, I can keep what's under there, right? No, you cannot. This property is not yours. And you do not cut up a floor of a piece of property that is not yours. Well, the only reason I did it is because I was using my metal detector and it was beeping, like, all over the bedroom floor. Well, I don't care. That still gives you no reason to cut up a floor of a piece of property that is not yours. Look, I'm a professional with construction, so I'm going to put it right back, and you're not going to be able to tell it was ever cut up. So I'm, you, I'm, I'm not making changes. I'm going to put it all back. It'll look just the same as when, you know, when I leave, as when I got here. Uh, you need to talk to Sue Ann before okay. you do anything or take anything. Is she there? She is not here right now. <sighs> Give me your phone number. Um, well, I can't be reached right now because I'm going to be going, uh, I'm working on some of this, this stuff that's in the floor. I've got to go through it and, and organize and catalog. You know, I just, I, I got to, I've got a lot of work to do today. And then uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to be working on putting the floor back together. Uh, give me your phone number. Uh, okay. Well, I, I, I won't be answering today. I, I'm, I'm a little busy. It's uh, area code 314-420-6969. Okay. So can I not... Uh, uh, you, you best answer your phone if she calls you. Well, can, what, what's her phone number? I can just call her. I, I have to call her. She's busy right now. Oh, well, don't call her if she's busy. How come you can call her and I can't? Sir, I'm an employee here, and I've been in the real estate business for most of my life. Mm -hmm. And I have never heard of anybody doing what you have done. It's not a big deal. I'm going to put the floor back. I don't care. What you found is not yours. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's, it, it, it's not your property. I think it was left there by a previous tenant, so it's not really the apartment's property either. It, if it's if you took up the floor, I just don't want to discuss this with you anymore. Why not? She will be calling you because it's not my decision. Okay. Well, um, so so then why did you tell me that I can't keep it if it's not your decision? It seems like I should be able it's, to. You cannot keep something. I also have a legal background. Oh. And you cannot have, you cannot take what isn't yours. Yeah, but and what was there before you is not yours. You guys can't take it either because it belongs to a previous tenant. Because it's got some of their paperwork inside some of these metal boxes. I think they cut up the floor too, because they put all this stuff in there. Sue Ann will be contacting you, and you do not do anything with anything that you found. You don't need to catalog it or anything. It is not your belonging. I'm just cataloging it. I'm not. I'm not doing anything with it. I'm just. Cat I'm going through it all, and organizing it. I'm separating it into separate boxes, and getting it ready for transport. That's all. Transport where? To the patent. To the patent to office. Where? To the patent office. You have no right to do what you're doing. You're totally out of line. Well, it's not your property. Anything that is on this property 
you rent the space. Yeah, you don't rent anything else, so, and you not are not able to take anything else. So anything on the property is yours. Yes. N not my furniture. Not no, not, not, not my your clothes. Furniture. But you rent the space. Yeah, but like I, I think uh, this is from a previous tenant, so it's not really yours. It is. Then, then what are you saying? You own all my furniture and all my silverware. If you leave. Whatever you leave. Yeah, but you guys didn't find it. I found it. I'm not discussing this any further. I'll have Sue Ann talk to you about it. <sighs> All right. Thank you. Do you want my other phone number? The the number. Oh. All right. I just gave her a fake number. I should have given her the prank line number so Sue Ann could actually call me back. And I'm reminded of an idea that was uh, mentioned in the Discord chat not too long ago. Let me see if I wrote this down in my notebook. I, I don't think I did. Ah, yes, I did. Here it is. It's from Simplex. He wants me to say I was using a metal detector in my apartment, and I cut into the floor or into the wall or whatever, and I found an alternate universe behind the wall that's just like my apartment, but only with different furniture. You know, it's a portal to another dimension. But really, it's just the next-door neighbor's apartment, and they're not home. And that sounds hilarious, so I'm going to give that a try, I think. I forgot all about that idea until I started talking about metal detecting to Carol. Department, this is Meredith. Hey, Meredith. Um, I'm a tenant here at and I have a question. Sure. Um, I was just wondering, like, if, if I find something hidden inside the walls, like I was removing a wall and I found something in, in there, is I get to keep that, right? Um, well, my first concern is, why are you removing a wall? <laughs> oh, I was just, um, I, w I was going to make like an extra closet area. Okay, well, you're not allowed to do that. Okay, well, too late. I did it. Which apartment do you live in? Uh, 107. Um... William? Mm-hmm, yep. That's me. Okay. Where did you make an extra closet? Um, well, so here's the thing. Uh, I, I started removing it because I put my metal detector up there, and I, I could tell there was something behind the wall. Mm -hmm. And this is going to sound unbelievable, but there's actually another, I guess I'd call it like a portal or another dimension, like something that you'd see on a, you know, a sci-fi movie. Sci-fi movie. Okay. There, there's another there's apartment another inside of it that looks exactly like mine, like an alternate universe type thing, except there's different furniture and stuff in there. So did you get into your neighbor's apartment? No, no. This is like I walk through and I'm in the same apartment. It's my apartment, but it's like a mirror version of it. It's like a mirror reality. And, um, but, the, the, but there's different furniture. It's not my furniture. It's as if in, in this reality, somebody else lived in the apartment. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Not really. Because, I mean, if you got into a wall, there's not much space in there. So. Yeah, but have you ever seen Doctor Who? Like, it's bigger on the inside. Like, you, you go in there and it's like a big old place. This is like a whole other apartment, basically. Like, there, you can walk into it. There's a living space. There's a bathroom. The same amount of bedrooms as me. Looks the, just like yours. Yeah, the walls are the same color. Everything. It's just the furniture is different. So it could be your neighbors. I don't think so. No, because I, I don't think there's... Yeah, I don't think so. But, like, would I get to keep the stuff that's in here? Like, mm, no. Basically, while I live here, I'm, I'm just going to use this extra space as, like, you know, like... Make a man cave, maybe, or like a gaming room, pool table or whatever. But, like, what about the stuff? Can I keep, like, the extra furniture? I've already moved over one of the shelves because I needed a shelf in my kitchen. Where, which wall are you talking about? Um, it, would be, it would be the wall, I, I don't know, like, it's, it's like from the living room. All so, right, how about I send somebody over there? Um... I don't, like, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't feel like I really want other people over here. This is my discovery. 
Okay, I, but I, just, I need to see what exactly you're talking about. So I'm going to send a maintenance guy over there. Maybe I could send send a photo or something, like send a picture on my phone. It's just uh, no. I'll, I I have a maintenance guy close by. I'll just send him over. Okay, but I like is he is his mind going to be able to handle this? Like an alternate dimension, like an alternate reality? No, nope. probably not. So yeah, don't send him over. I I think you know not everyone's equipped to handle this this sort of thing. Okay, but I I'll I'll send him over. Um, very shortly. Why? No, I don't want him over. I, I'm I'm not like I, I really I'm not in the mood for visitors today. I'm working on this whole this whole because thing. Because I need the wall. To, I need somebody to go over there and see exactly what you're talking about. It, it's an alternate. It's like so, a portal. It's like a portal okay. to another world. It's like Narnia, yeah. basically. Yeah. Except there's no forest okay. on the other side. It's like an, a, a mirror reality of my own. <sighs> okay. I'll get in touch with maintenance and I'll send him right over. Uh, what if I don't answer the door? Because I, I may be in the other reality. He has a key, so he'll come on in. Uh, what if I've changed the locks? Well, then that's a violation of your lease. Well, I don't want strangers having keys to my place. That's weird. <laughs> well, I mean, this you rent the place, so of course we have keys. I know, but like it's, it's just like, like you're saying right now, this is exactly the reason I changed the locks is because you're saying he's just going to come over and just come on in without permission. Well, yeah, if you're telling me that you knocked down a wall and you're looking into some other place, yeah, I need him to go in there and see exactly what uh, you're talking about. An alternate reality, a mirror universe. Sure. I need him to go over there and see what you're talking about. Well, I, I told you what I'm talking about. It's like, it's as if... Right, but I need for him to go over there and see it. So it, It's I like will, this um, other reality where somebody else lived in my apartment, but there's, there's like, there's women's clothes in here, like in the closets. It's not my stuff. And like, I, I look at the papers and I, I looked on the internet, like all these files and stuff, and I can't find any record of this person existing on Facebook. Okay. So I, I don't think I, it's a real person. I think it's like a person that doesn't exist in our universe. I'm just going to I'm gonna call my maintenance guy, and I'll send him over there. Can I talk to him? What's his number? When he goes over there, sure. Well, no, like what if I'm in the other, uh, the other reality, the other, other universe? The well, why universe? don't you just wait, and then I'll send him over there, okay? But I wanted to go over there and, and catalog a few more things. I, I was thinking about moving, um, the, like swapping beds with them. Why because don't you just wait and I'll send somebody right over? I don't want to wait because what if the portal closes up before then? And, and okay. like if I wait long enough, I'm gonna I, get, what if okay, it closes up? I'm going to call him right now, okay? So I'll send him right over. What if what if it closes up while I'm in there and I'm, I can't get I'm, back? I don't know what to tell you. What I'm if, sorry. If, I'll send what if, him right over. What if I don't have a mother on the other side of the portal? Okay, like, what I'm going to hang up now. Never so see my family right again. Over, okay? you're, you're endangering my entire livelihood. Okay. My life. Oh my God, this, this girl does not watch enough science fiction to understand the risks involved here. She was perfect, though. She understood right away. <laughs> that was just the apartment next door. I want to do one more of those before we quit for the day. I'll do the apartments down the street from her. Thank you for calling Tights. This is Haley. How can I help you? Hi, Haley. Um, I have a question. I'm a tenant here. Okay. And uh, I was cutting into the floor in my bedroom. And I, I you know, I picked up, I, I pried up all the, the boards and stuff in the floor. And there was this other layer of uh, white material. I cut into that. And um, I, I just, I, I found something underneath the floor. And I just kind of had a question okay. about that. Okay. So it's it's actually, I guess I would describe it as a portal, like to another dimension. Because <laughs> I look down there and there's another bedroom and it looks just like mine, except it's different. Like there's different furniture. Uh-huh. And it's messier. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, um, like, have you ever had this issue before on this property? Um, can I ask who this is? <laughs> uh, sure, my name's Roy. Okay. What's your last name? Zerbel. Okay, what's your building and unit number? Oh, man, I don't, like, I, so I don't want anyone to come over, really. I, I'm, I, this is just kind of a general inquiry. I, you don't have to, like, write this down or anything. I, I just, 
Like, if, if am I allowed to keep the stuff that I find inside of this place, this portal? Um. Well, if it's someone else's apartment, probably not. <laughs> oh well, no, no. This is a like a. I, I think this is like just an empty universe. Like, there's nobody in there. I've called down there. I've yelled. Nobody's answering. It's like a mirror universe. It's like my bedroom, but it's right below my bedroom. It's like my bedroom, but it's not. But then there's different types of furniture and stuff. So I'm sorry. It, can you can you repeat that part? Is this a different person? Is this a? I'm sorry. What's happening? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm so sorry. I you the call was transferred. It's as if um, how can I help you? Transferred or just like she handed you the phone. Uh, no, she transferred me. Uh, she was a little unsure what was going on, so she's transferred me. I feel um, like she's I, a little bit newer. So what can I help you with? I feel like I've reached a mirror universe. I, I'm, so I'm a tenant here, and I cut mm -hmm. a, a hole into my floor, and there's a portal underneath my floor. It looks down into another bedroom that looks exactly like mine, but it's in a different universe. It's like a different reality. Like there's different furniture and stuff. Sir, and I was, um... Who is this? My name's Roy. I'm, I'm a tenant here. What's the building and apartment number? That's what she asked me. And I was just explaining this is just a general inquiry. I, I don't really want to give my info because if this is some uh, well, amazing... You're, what you're, I'm so sorry, Roy. I'm just, what you're saying isn't making any sense. So I'm a little confused of what, what you're talking about. Yeah, you probably just don't watch enough sci-fi and you don't understand. But I, I, I'm like a pro at this stuff. And if I found, like, if I've made an amazing <laughs> discovery, then I, I don't want you guys coming in and trying to take credit for it and trying to take my stuff. Right. My is this Alex? No, my name is Roy. I can't help it with him or not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, 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 I just, I need to know your building and apartment number because I can't go over anything else. I can't discuss anything else about your building and apartment number. Okay. Well, never mind then. I, I just, I thought I would ask. I would see if there's been any issues with like rips in space time in the past and uh no there hasn't been you okay. have a great day though okay so, yeah fine i, I will i I've, I've made an am amazing scientific discovery and i'm keeping it to myself oh so okay sounds good you, you'll know which apartment i'm in when you see all the news vans and government vehicles showing up right okay <laughs> have a nice day um what? you too bye bye <laughs> All right, let me get out of this college town. I need to talk to some people that are less amused by everything. Thank you for calling your apartments. This is Lauren. How can I help you? Hey, Lauren. Um, I'm a tenant here, and I have a question. Okay, yeah. Um, I was just wondering, like, uh, I, I was, um, I was, oh, how do I explain this? I was opening up my wall, like, uh, you know, cutting into my wall, and I found some things in there, and I was just wondering... Would I be the owner of anything I found in there? Or that you, you cut open your wall? Yeah. Yep. What's your building and apartment number? Uh, I'm in 2A. Which apartment? Which building? I'm 501. That's not, that's, we don't have a 501 2A. Well, is it, is it 5, 500 then? Well, well, what's your name? Michael. Michael. Yep. Well, it doesn't matter. This is more just a general inquiry. I, I don't need anyone to come over or anything. I was just wondering if, like, if I would be the owner of the stuff. Well, if you're if you're saying you cut into your wall and found that you're, you know, doing something like that, that does require someone to go over there. Oh no, no, you don't have to come over. I'm a, I'm like, I'm a construction worker by trade. I know what I'm doing. Like, I'll be able to seal it all back up. You won't even know I have, I was ever in there when I, when I move out. It's fine. Give me just one moment, please. Okay. Hi, this is Israel speaking. Who? This is Israel. I'm the property manager. Oh, hey, Israel. I, I'm, uh, I, I just uh, was wondering about if I found something inside the wall, if I'd be able to keep it. Inside a wall as of? What? Inside a wall as, what do you, I don't know what you're referring to. Well, it doesn't matter. I just, like, in general, like, if I found anything. Well, it does matter. You're cutting into our wall? Yeah, well, I'm going to put it back, though. I'm going to seal it back up. You'll what never... made you cut into the wall to begin with? Uh, I had a metal detector, and I was detecting anomalies behind the wall. What's your apartment here with us? 
Uh, I'm in 2D. Of building. You like to ask me to complete sentences for you. Can you just ask me which building number? You know which question I was asking, so can you answer? I, I know, but it's just like kind of a rude way to, to phrase things. Well, no, I'm trying to see exactly. A, I'm not sure what you're, why you're exactly calling. Is this a prank call? No, it's not a prank call. It's just a pet peeve of mine, like trying to what was your get name? me to finish sentences for you. Okay, what is your name? Well, at least you didn't go, and your name is? See, that would have been rude. Okay, but what is your name? Um, this is Nathan. But it doesn't matter. I, I, I'm not asking anyone to come over. I just uh, was wondering if, if I would get be like the owner of anything I found in the wall. Well, you wouldn't be able to cut into the wall. Well, I already cut into the wall, so let's just forget that part. I, I just well, that's to... why you originally called. No, I, I called to find out if I would be the owner of, of something I found inside the wall. Whatever was in the wall doesn't belong to me, so I wouldn't be able to answer that. So it belongs to me, then? If, if that's what you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I did not like Israel, not one bit. I don't have to put up with that bullshit. Him and his damn half sentences. Thank you for calling. Rich, this is Amy. Can I help you? Hi, Amy. Uh, I have a question. I'm a tenant okay. here. Okay. Okay. And I was just wondering, um, like, so I've cut into the wall in my living room. And, For what? Uh, I was just cutting in there, you know, no, no reason exactly. Uh-huh. Just, uh, I, I just needed to find out, like, if I find anything in the walls, do I own the things that I find in there? I have no idea what you could be talking about. <laughs> what, what, who, who, what apartment do you live in? Uh, 2085. Eight five, and then what apartment? Uh, D. D is in dog. B. B like boy. B. B like boy. Is it one or two B? Uh, two. Two B. And what did you find in the wall? Um. Well, it's it's kind of hard to believe. I don't think you could handle the explanation. It's it's hard to explain. You want to bring it to the office? Well, no, it's nothing. I can. Okay, I'll just try to explain it. So I found a portal to another dimension, like another universe, like an alternate reality. Like, when, when I look in there, I can see another living room that looks exactly like mine. It's like a mirror image of my own living room, but there's different furniture in it. Hello? Oh, okay, so are you there right now? Yeah, yeah. Look I'm, at I'm, it? Okay, so we're going to have to send somebody over there. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I don't need anyone to come over. I, that's not why I'm calling. I just needed to find out, do I, do I have rights to the property that's inside the alternate dimension? No, no, that would be somebody else's apartment. No, no, th this is like I, there's nobody in there. Uh, I picked up the phone that was on the table. There's no dial tone. Like it, it's, it's like a, it's like an empty dimension type thing. I don't think anyone lives there. Oh really? Like no nobody like it. So eighty five two B. What what is your name again? I'm sorry. Um. Well, I never told you, so it wouldn't. Oh, be okay. Again. But no, I I just uh, I just wanted to make sure because I, I already took one of the shelves and and moved it in into my place, and I was thinking about opening up the 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 wall a little bit wider and bringing a couch in. Okay. Well, no, but you can't do that. Why not? Because it's like, you guys, I don't think there's anything in the lease about alternate dimensions and property rights. And you know stuff. what? I, there might be. If you come to the office, we'll look together. I was just hoping you would know. You want to look? Could, well, no, I was hoping you could tell me over the phone. That's why I'm making a phone call instead of coming to the office. Oh, yeah. Something like that we'd have to do in person. Okay. Well, never mind then. Just forget I called. Okay. Thank you. No problem. But you know what? You know, <laughs> I got to give up on this. I think only that first lady is going to take the alternate dimension thing seriously. Let's listen to some voicemails. Hey, Roy, you gypsy. I'm kind of mad at you for saying I tried to buy a stolen iPad. Why would I need a stolen one when I already have three or four of them? I make a ton of money selling food stamp tacos. Sorry. I cook them right here on my pizza grill. Meanwhile, you work at a minimum wage, Jabe. Cactus. All right. I'm sorry, everyone. This is a, an official retraction. He didn't really try to buy a stolen iPad. Uh, hello, Brad. Whoa. Uh, I am a hacker, and I hack your phone. It, looks, it sounds like he's calling from the dimension next to my apartment. That's why you're listening to this. I'm a prank caller. I prank called this phone number. You 
nothing to do about it. Take good. a seat on my cactus couch, bitch. Good job on this prank call. That was a good one. Looks like you left another one. I guess I'll play it. Hello, Brad. Maybe. I'm coming on a cactus. Hey. You probably don't know me because I'm new, kinda. Yeah, how I'm a long time listener, but I'm new to the to the chat, to the direct message. It's calling from you. a mirror universe, what everyone. I just joined the Discord. <laughs> All the furniture in his apartment is different yeah, than the furniture in mine. Hello from the Dominican Republic, and uh, I wish you a great day. Thanks and for the two voicemails one. right next to each other. Uh, You're doing a great job so far. Bitch. Broom, broom from the back. All right, bye. Brad, here's the deal. I'm calling from New Orleans, and you're listening uh, from New Orleans, and guess what? What? Uh, I just really have an idea you're for a like CLA TV show because, you know, there have been plenty of successful shows that have been about nothing. Famously, Seinfeld was about completely nothing, and uh, it was pretty good. Yep. I yep. don't know. I just kind of thought it would be funny to see these In the 90s. different ridiculous characters and their enemies bounce off of each other. And, oh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Of really Mexico, really I forgot what we were doing. Exciting, but it could maybe inspire some sort of conflict. Granted, um, I started to write a sitcom in, in comic book form called Space Cacti, but I gave up because it was boring and I don't know how to draw. Not necessarily real people or real situations, but you know, I'm sure that could be arranged some kind of object of conflict. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, well, thanks for those ideas again. I'm at a party right now, so it's pretty fun playing boring jazz music. And all I want to do is go home and listen to the Scamp Pow show. Yeah, so, fuck parties. Bye, Party, parties are dumb. Just go home and play on the internet. Hey, Brad, it's Crimson. I'm sorry about my bad voicemails. I hope this one comes through clearly. Uh, T Mobile has been. Oh, uh, it's not the really sound cool. quality. Some reason I have this new phone. I've been having problems. But anyway, um, I've, been, uh, I've been wondering, uh, there's one, uh, you know, since you're going through old shows and everything, and you're getting good clips, uh, there's one that I remember from, like, I think it's 2014, maybe 2015, uh, and it's an old clip where you're calling homeowners, uh, you know, there's like a neighborhood or homeowners association or something, and you called and talked to this old lady, and you said, you know, hey, you know, this is so-and-so, I think it's from the homeowners association, okay. and you said, yeah, we've been getting complaints about, you know, there's this boy, and he's said that, like, late at night, he's walking by your house, and, you know, your husband, Dave, or whatever, he's been, uh, sitting in the yard wearing a hockey mask. Oh, yeah, I something. remember that one. I can barely hear you again. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's just a bad connection, but I was telling someone that their husband kept standing in my yard at three in the morning wearing a hockey mask, just standing there and not moving. It's getting on my nerves or whatever. A rule against a nerdy thing. It's not against the law, but he just really likes you to stop. You know, traumatize the boy and everything. And then, like, she, she believes you. And she goes back and forth, back and forth. And she's obviously taken aback, but she keeps going back and forth with you. And, she's, and then uh, she finally... You know, I've been doing a lot of editing. I bet you that happened around 2015 when I did, used to do more of the nighttime shows. And I just finished doing a bunch of carding calls, you know, editing all the shows from the old carding calls in 2015. And it looks like I am about to do a bunch of homeowners association calls and just homeowner calls, like a bunch of them all in a row. So maybe I'm going to find that one soon. And if I do, I will remember you, Crimson, and I will post that somewhere. Is that what you're asking me to do, is post that one? Oh, well, has it happened? Play it on the beginning of a show. Happy lately? you be like, uh, yeah, like, I think like last week I put the boy thought. And then uh, she goes, wow, guess what? He's been gone for, you know, two weeks on a business trip or something. She, and then you're like, <laughs> you're like, well, have you been covering for him while he's gone? Well, thanks for <laughs> recapping this call for <laughs> us. He's cracking up so bad. And I cannot find a clip on YouTube. I'm sure it's not there. Uh, but it's, it's a hilarious clip. So, it will be soon. Anyway, talk to you later, bud. Bye-bye. I really think I'm going to find that one soon. Just like I found those Frank D'Amato calls a couple weeks ago. So keep an eye on the YouTube for those. Or better yet, keep an eye on Mr. Dabalina's wonderful World of Prank Calls over at worldofprankcalls.com. I'm really looking forward to finding some of those old homeowners calls that I used to make a lot. Because those were a lot of fun. Hi Brad, it's Stephen Froney, okay? Hello. I'm phoning up okay. a couple of episodes ago, Not Brad said he was, he'd heard a call and he thought it might have been you in it where 
you've got somebody to delete a bunch of stuff on their computer. Mm -hmm. I really don't think it is you. You've actually talked about it before because somebody else asked about this call. It ends with somebody saying, you've got owned by Freak Radio. And I've actually emailed you the call and the subject message is AOL call for not Brad. So have a listen to it. I don't think it's you, but you never know. Okay, bye. Cactus, cactus. Yeah, I got that email. I was going to play this on the beginning of the show, but what the hell? Maybe I'll just play it right now. I skimmed through it a little bit. I have no idea if this is even funny, you guys. So if it's not, blame Stephen Ferroni for that. To the number you wish to call. Or, or blame not Brad, I guess. This is like um, five or six minutes long, I think. Maybe I'll cut some out of it if it's boring. Off now. Sounds old. You have 120 minutes remaining for this call. Oh, oh wow. yay. <laughs> I think somebody just gave me their spoof card account number. I'm looking up on my DTMF decoder, and it seems to have gotten all the numbers. I'm going to go make some free calls now. We can do it barely in two hours. I can stick it in and pull it out once. Maybe see, see this is just bad editing. Hello. I would have uh, taken hello. all this out. Who is it? Hi, is Mrs. Rayan? Hmm? Is Mrs. Rayan? Just a second. Just a second. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Ray? Yes. This is Michelle Sanchez calling from AOL. Yes. Okay, uh, we're having a problem with an account there. Um, the screen name is R-E-A-A-M-O-S. Okay. And it says it's under a girl, Amy's name. Okay. Okay, she's been downloading some bestiality and gay male porn off Whoa. the Internet, and we don't allow this. No, she hasn't. <laughs> and for some reason, we have been getting a lot of that kind of crap in our mail. All of ours, and oh. even my husband's is consistently getting stuff sent to him, and she's not downloading anything. Hmm. See, in order to get in order to get on those mailing lists, what we call you know from the where's rooms, which are very illegal to start with, mm -hmm. they would have to sign up and be on a list to start with. Well, is there some way that someone else can put you on then? Because uh, we haven't no. done anything, and we went on Explore, and we've been checking. That's crazy so talk. Forth, and no one in our household is doing anything like that. Right. Well, what we're going to have to do is, against this account and everything, we're going to have to press charges unless, you know, you can attempt to find find out what's going on here. Because Wait, so not Brad thought this person was me? You know? What I the hell, not Brad? Well, Sounds we're going to have to do something like me. about it, because as far as our database is showing us, is it's coming from this account. Can you tell me when it's coming from this account? Okay. What, what are you showing? What kind of history are you showing that... Okay, well, do you, are you at the computer? Um, no, I'm not. Because if you go to the computer, I can tell you what to type in, and you can see what I'm saying. Okay, well, can you tell me what it is, or... Okay, I well, I'd have to walk through it step by step. Oh, okay. Well, LOL, she's going to delete all of her personal <laughs> photos and stuff and lose them forever. Uh, see if you can... Go ahead. Actually, I think what we could do it through DOS. Let me get my my service tech on the phone so he can go ahead and guide you through the DOS way. Hello, Miss. Yes. This is the service technician. Yes. Okay, you were speaking to. Still doesn't sound like me. Here. Yes. Okay, now are you at in front of your computer right now, Miss? No, I'm not. I oh. just explained that to her. I just answered the phone and oh, I, just I can go see if I can get on, but sometimes it takes us a long time to get on in the evening. You you don't need to get on online. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can do that. This must be back in the dial-up okay, days. Hold on just a minute. Let me All go right. Got to keep trying. Always get a busy signal. I hate that. Okay. Are you still there? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you in front of the computer? Pardon me? Are you in front of your computer, miss? Yes. All right. Now, is it booted into Windows? Can you hold on just a minute? I'm going to have to tell my kids to be quiet in the other room. Hold sure. On just I'm just going to shut the fuck up. Just like that uh, Jack Heliquin song. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. See, with me, the prank call would have ended right there. I would have told her to shut Windows the fuck 95 up. 95 or Windows 98? 98. 98. 98, okay. Now, you, you see your desktop, correct, miss? Yes. All right. You see the start menu down in the left corner? Right. Click on it for me, please. Mm-hmm. Go to programs. Okay. MS dials prompt. What, what was the next part? MS DOS prompt. It should have a little icon next to it. It's the hacker window. MS DOS. Where you type prompt. in hackery things on the keyboard. Um, 
I'm at MS DOS prompt. Was there supposed to be another window to the right of that, or? No, no, no. You just click on that, Miss. Oh, just click on it. Okay, I'm I'm in that now. Okay, now it's you a see. Black screen. With you see a C colon slash Windows. Yes. You're like a hacker. Okay, at that at that prompt, you're going to type in the following. Okay, Miss. Okay. D E L T. Okay. R E E. Mhm. Mm space. Pardon me. Space. Okay. Forward slash. Okay. Y, lowercase y, space. Wait a minute, I, I missed after the forward slash. What did you say, a y? So everybody follow along at home. Okay. Get on your Windows 98 machine and type this in. Capital C. It's cool, Capital it's going to get rid of the bestiality from your computer. It's okay. okay. Colon, which is next to the L. Nothing bad will happen, I promise. Backward slash, which is next to the backwards key. The backwards key. Mm hmm the asterisk symbol, which is above the 8. Okay. And then the period. Mm hmm And then the asterisk again. That'll do okay. it. Okay. Now, could you read what you have there? That'll get Pardon rid of that bestiality. Could you read what you have there, miss? So um, I can verify. the part that I typed in. Okay. D-E-L-E-R-E-E. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, space, front slash Y, uh, space, C, colon, backslash, backslash asterisk I'm impressed that she knows right, the difference between a backslash and a forward and slash and where is this taking in the 90s this is going to search your computer for the bestiality for the what? for the bestiality seems legit okay it's got a list of deleting a whole bunch of things okay miss can you say something for me? pardon me? can you say something for me? Say something? Yeah, you just got owned by Freak Radio. I just got on what? Owned by Freak Radio. What's it feel like to totally fuck over a computer? Uh oh, is she frantically typing? Invigorating, isn't it? Call her back. What a bunch of jerks. I mean, not that I can talk, I've done it too, you know, back in the 90s. What's Freak Radio, though? I don't know if I've ever heard of that. I'm looking on Google, I don't see anything about it. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. But anyway, there you go, not Brad. Now you know, it wasn't me. Hey, Snowplow Show. Hey. You know, you were talking about powder, and I, I watched sure that was. movie when I was about 14 years old. I saw it in the theater. Did you, did you feel molested after seeing it? just me, but my memory serves as follows. Uh, what? It was like Billy Corgan getting gang raped for about two hours. Does that sound familiar? I yeah, mean, that's the same movie. Maybe something happened to me. I don't know. Anyway, I love the uh, shows, and uh, later on, dickhead. Thanks for loving the shows, even though I recommend that you go watch Powder. Hey, Brad. Bring back horrible childhood memories. It's Copper Dan. Hey, Long Copper Dan. No Hey. I got an interesting proposal for you. Oh, crap. Just heard on the news that there is a golf course that is being told that they have to cut down trees because they are racist. What? Uh, and I believe the golf course might actually cut them down. What are you so saying? Why don't we pose that as uh, instructions for some fine young homeowners? Goodbye, Brad. I, what are you talking about? <laughs> All right, let me get on Google. Golf course cut down racist trees. Yeah, there it is. December 21st, 2017. Palm Springs, California says it will remove a row of trees dividing a neighborhood and a golf course after residents complained that the trees evoked feelings of segregation and discrimination. After a recent meeting with residents of a historically African-American neighborhood, Mayor Robert Moon and other city officials says the tamarisk trees and chain link fence that run along the Crossley Tract neighborhood and the Tequitz Creek golf course will be removed. What the hell? Every golf course wants to keep everyone out. It's not a race thing. What? <laughs> what? This is the dumbest thing ever. Many residents previously told The Sun they believed the trees which were planted in the 1960s stemmed from racism and had, had a negative impact on the value of their homes as it cut the homes off from the golf course. 
I truly believe they were planted to segregate the black neighborhood from the ritzy community over there and that it shouldn't stand anymore. And they're actually doing it. They are paying $169,000 to cut down a bunch of trees that will be gone within the next three months. And it shows the trees that the trees aren't doing anything. In fact, I think the neighborhood that it's separating them from, it looks like that neighborhood has a bunch of hedges over there. They're, they're doing their own segregation. I think those are hedges. It's hard to see in this aerial photograph. Maybe that's just grass. I don't know. But yeah, homeowners calls. I'm going to tell them that their trees are racist and that's why they have to cut them down. I'll put a link to this in the show notes if you guys want to go read it. Yeah, I'm looking on Google Maps now. There's like, this, this doesn't make sense. Golf courses have trees? This is so confusing. What, they want to watch people play golf? Oh, and I think the hedges that I saw, those are actually trees. I think those are the trees that they want taken down. Weird. Okay, thanks, Copper Dan, for that idea. Racist trees. Got to make a call out of that someday. Looks like that's the end of all the voicemails. That's the end of today's show. So thank you, everyone, for listening to today's show. And thank you, I Love Audis, for sponsoring today's show over at patreon.com slash phone losers. Hey, I should play this call I made earlier today before I started working on the show. Uh, somebody, uh, looks like Mike from the PLA group, shared a post by this lady named Lisa. And Lisa made a Facebook thing that says, if you get a call from your own number, do not answer it. They are trying to steal your personal information. Pass this on ASAP. And if you go to this Lisa lady's webpage, it's been shared uh, 74,000 times. And oh my gosh, she is talking about me on her page. Okay, anyway, okay, first, let me play this call that I made to her. Uh, I, I found, like, you know, I went to her page and she has a business and the business has a phone number on it. So I spoofed her number. I called her number from her number. And at first I got her, her machine, but then she interrupted the machine and she hung up on me. So I called again. She hung up on me. I called again. She hung up on me. I called her like five times. And finally she let her machine pick up and I left her this message. Sorry, we can't get to the phone right now. Just please leave your name and number and we will get back with you as soon as possible. Hello, Lisa. It is I, the man who wants to steal all your personal information. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I am looking on her page now. And she already had a message on there. It said, a friend of mine spoke with AT&T Fraud Department. Their number is blah, blah, blah. They put extra fraud alerts alerts on his number. Confirmed it is fraud seekers. Call and report it if they call. Uh, yeah, I don't know what these, she's talking about. But anyway, okay, 22 minutes ago, <laughs> she says, here is a perfect example of how people can make spoof calls. This very post I shared has gotten over 74,000 shares. A couple of hours ago, my business phone rang. More like four hours ago. Caller ID shows my own number calling. I answered the call and automatically ended the call. The phone rang again. This went on for five more times. The sixth time, I let my answering machine answer, and this is the message that I got. And oh shit, did she put my... Uh, yeah, I guess she put my message up there. Yeah. Hello, Lisa. It is I, the man who wants to steal... I gotta hear it again. messages that's great yeah. Hello, Lisa. Oh, it's repeating and look at that legend liked the post and then lisa comments underneath that she's like and i'm not trying to be funny or scare anybody but this really just happened exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point oh shit and i just uh tried to refresh it because i wanted to see who else liked that post and it looks like i read that just in time because she just removed it like within the past couple of minutes Maybe someone told her she's an idiot for believing that, that was a real scamster. Yeah, it's gone. I just refreshed her page. It's gone. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Here, here is... <laughs> okay, here is an... Uh, okay, so she made a comment on her original post that has 74,000 shares. And she wrote the exact same thing. I guess she took down the other post. And she posted the, the video of, you know, my message to her. Someone replied, because that's not creepy. Someone else says, crazy, I tell you. Oh, no, no, that's Lisa saying that. Someone named Amy says, that gave me chills just listening. And she tells someone else to listen to this. Someone named Brooke, and then Brooke comments, I'm terrified. 
And Amy says, sorry, I knew you'd just gotten one of these calls, so now you have a reason not to answer it. They're all taking it seriously. Like, isn't it obvious I was just kidding on that? Like, why would someone stealing information leave a message like that? That doesn't make sense. If you go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Brad the Carter, then you'll see where I shared her post and scroll down in the comments. You can find, you know, all the, the comments about the message and stuff. Wow, that's great. I can't, but why, why is she taking that seriously? I did not expect her to take that seriously. I was just being silly. Come on, Lisa. What the hell? If you're listening, Lisa, it was just a joke. I was just joking. I was just joshing with you. I would never steal personal information. I totally didn't get arrested last year for anything like that. Okay, thanks for listening, everyone. Thank you, I Love Audis, for sponsoring today's episode. I am in the mood to hear some Oh Shit What by Bone Cage. So here is Oh Shit What by Bone Cage. Oh shit, what I say when I lose my keys. Oh shit, what I scream when I'm stung by bees. Oh shit, when I break a stone. Oh shit, what? property is not yours and you do not cut up a floor of a piece of property that is not yours.